welcome to 16th of july's goli basing supreme father says may you be a knowledgeable soul who performs every act after careful consideration and thereby remains free from having to repent doing something then repenting isn't knowledgeable souls way of doing things it is said in the world first think and then act so first think and in that thinking also there's a pause and in the acting also there's a pause so before we act there's a pause because we are thinking we take care of every thought just like a jeweler who's going to put beads into the necklace or who's going to put diamonds into the necklace we'll have to select every diamond properly making sure that there's no form of any form of deformity or even a black spot within the diamond it's flawless it's shining beautifully it's sending out all the seven colors so god says even your thoughts should be selected very specifically so he's given us the power to discern power to decide power to judge whether it's the right thing to do or not power power to tolerate power to face power to uh, accommodate and many more things so god says it is set in the set in the world first thing and then act that means choose your thoughts whether they're like diamond like or they're like coal not exactly coal but black that is impure powerless those who do not think before they act who do something and then think about it afterwards they have to repent very true to think about something afterwards is a form of repentance whereas to think about it beforehand is a quality of a knowledgeable soul so we have to see sometimes we act like knowledgeable soul sometimes we act into repentance so we have to be very specific in the copper and iron ages there were many types of repentance god is taking us back into the 63 births which we have taken the previous births so he's saying that in the copper and iron ages we lost our wealth we lost our families we lost our uh, our kingdom we lost our palaces because of lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy hatred and laziness and many more things many more negatives which were overcoming us slowly slowly our purity was diminishing so in the copper and iron ages there were many types of repentance however now at the confluence which confluence age which is after the iron age going into the golden age there's a confluence in between the transition period which is going to overtake so however now at the confluence age you have thoughts with careful consideration and then act only then there isn't any type of repentance in your mind for even a second would you be called a knowledgeable soul so only when there isn't any type of repentance in your mind even for a second right now present moment would you be called a knowledgeable soul so are you a knowledgeable soul am i a knowledgeable soul we have to check ourselves om shanti